Hi, it's Cameron here. This is just a short uh, webcast just for our um, open data presentation. I'm here on the data.vic.gov.au site, which is a site where the state government puts its open data sets. There's also a, a national site, da uh, the URL data.gov.au, um, which also has uh, national data sets there. The data for like the My School website, My Hospitals, etc. Um, you'll find that, you may have heard about those things, but you'll find that here. But today we're just having a look at the um, the, Vic the Victorian site. I'm just I've searched this site before just for uh, libraries, but I'll just bring up the the URL to the the data set, and it gives you some basic information about the data set. But then you can also just download. You do that here to the right. So I've downloaded that um, data set. So what that is, is just a CSV file. If I open that up, it is, as you imagine, just, just uh, some data about the records, the different libraries. What I'm going to do is uh, just quickly show you a tool that's, uh, that Google have developed. Um, called Google Fusion Tables. Uh, it's found at this URL, google.com backslash fusion tables. It's free. What you can do, and I've already done it, but you can import a, a table um, of data, and it could be data you've generated from yourself, you've extracted out of a database, or you've found online from something like the data.pic.gov.au. I've already uh, uploaded this, and I'll just go to the one I've already done. And you can see the same uh, the same data set there with the addresses, the the names of the libraries, etc. Well, it doesn't have the names of the libraries. You might find that in another data set. But you can do things like the same that you could in Excel. You might just want to see all the libraries in Geelong. Apply a filter, and it shows you uh, those libraries there. Um, the other cool thing that you can do here is this tool has some different visualization tools and I'll let you play this at your same at your leisure. But one of the things you can do is you can map your data because that's been geocoded. So we've gone from raw data to every point plotted on a map without having to um, type in addresses, anything like that. So you can see when we looked at Geelong before. Um, so some of these must be in surrounding suburbs. But you can see the location of the libraries uh, around Geelong there. And so we've gone to plotting it all on a map, etc, etc, in like under a couple of minutes. Um, so that's just one, one tool, one visualisation tool uh, that you can do. So you, you can also get an embeddable link, um, which we've used and put on our blog of this same data set that um, I'll just be a minute to bring up and you can see you can embed the same data onto into your blog or whatever to be able to have another way of sharing it so one way that you might do is you might be the librarian in Geelong for example and instead of having to plot all your branches like on a Google map you can just use data that's already there if you like uh, you could have filtered um, filtered the data to just show the Geelong and surrounding suburb ones and then um, then just uh, publish that or visualize that so that's just a quick overview of uh, open data and Google fusion tools it's uh, definitely a tool worth playing for playing with